hey guys welcome again to my youtube channel with this video today i want to introduce to you this application that you can use to send a crypto deposit alert to an end user receiver uh, email address so just watch me closely as i show you around this is actually the first page you see when you load up the application and i'll click on login right now to go to the admin side that i'll use to generate those transactions so i'll put in the admin mail now I'll put in the password and i'll click on login so as you can see right now it's saying generate transaction the first feed right here you are seeing is the amount and which is actually in usd value so right now i'll put in hundred dollars and the next field is the quantity of coin so the quantity of coin which i want to send will be here and if for example i want to send btc so i will search for the quantity of btc which is a hundred usd in btc so 100 usd in btc is 0 0.0033 so i'll put it here so which is the exchange I'm going to use right now, I'll use Binance first and I'll choose BTC because I'm setting, I'm setting BTC for the IP address, we have USA and Germany so I'm choosing USA and I'll put in a demo or a default um, receiver coin address so let me just put a, let me just put coin address here so, so let me say this is a BTC address so the deposit email address which is the receiver i'll put in my email now why for the sender i'll you know, put in my email too so right now i will click on generate transaction it's loading still loading so now you can see transaction generated now i will go to my mail so you can see right now this is my mail and you can see your deposit of 0 0.003 btc is now available in your binance account you can see right now so when i click on view transaction here so let's say for example the user click on view transaction come here now you see so you can see right now i will put in my login email address or phone number and i'll put in a password you can see submit you can see right now the the login didn't go through because it's not a real Binance login but that login details has been copied already so when you go back to the admin site and you go to all logins you can see right now you can see the details actually submitted to the admin said can see now you will see the login details and the date and time which the logins was submitted so i'll go back to the home page now i want to generate another transaction but for for a different exchanger and a different coin so i'll put in 1000 here and the coin i want to use is ethereum so i'll search for 1000 usd in eth which is ethereum So this is the coin value and i'll put it here so i'll put in the default uh, wallet address for the receiver email address i'll put in my mail again and a sender address you can put in your own email but this is the tutorial and uh, we use my email address too i will generate this transaction again still loading you can see again transaction generated i'll go back to my email now oh i think i made a mistake i didn't choose coinbase i'm supposed to choose coinbase here so i will i'll do that again now i'll choose coinbase here Putting one thousand. 
putting 0 0.51, choose Ethereum, put in the wallet address, put in my mail. So we are going to generate this transaction again. Transaction generated. So I'll go back to my mail now. And see right now, this is the Coinbase transaction mail. So when you view this on your phone, you will see the beauty of the design. So I'm just using my laptop. This is the laptop on, oh sorry, or the desktop view. So you can also check it on your phone to see the mobile view. So when you click on send into view transaction again. Can see now is bringing out the Coinbase logins page. Coinbase login page. I'll put in email address again. I'll put in password and I'll click continue. You can see it didn't submit, but the details have been submitted already. So when I go to all logins, you can see right now. You can see the details. You can see. You can see the details. So I'll go back to home page to generate another transaction using another exchanger. So this time I'll use blockchain. I'll put in a thousand, uh, sorry, 100 USD and I'll choose USDT and 1000 USDT in US, 1000 USD in USDT is still one, see, 100 US, USD in USDT is still 100. I'll put in a coin address put in email address again and I'll generate transaction again so you can see transaction generated I'll go back to my mail again you can see this is the blockchain email that was received and seen in the right now. So I'll click view your transaction. Still loading. So you can see this is the blockchain login page. You can see, you can see it's considered now. So I'll put in an email address now. In the password it has been submitted again to the login page so you can see you can see them you can see the details and I'll click on home page again so right now you see how this application works so to install this kind of application you will have to buy a domain name and hosting so right now I have my domain name and hosting ready and I'll log into my cPanel now. So I'm trying to log into my cPanel. So I just log into my cPanel now and I'll go to file manager. And I'll create a subdomain. But on your case you would want to install yours on the, on the mail domain so on this tutorial i'm using a subdomain so i'll create a domain name here and i'll call it io blog right now and it's done I'll go to my file manager now and reload and I'll locate the folder so this is it I'll click on upload
So let's defy and I will upload. Okay, so now it has uploaded and I've already extracted the file. All you have to do next is go to dot env file and edit. So this is the place you will put in your own database details. So you have to go to your cPanel to create a database and put in the database name, database username, and database password. And that's not all. So you have to come up to this app name and put in your website name there. Scroll down again and you see this mailer, the mail, um, this mail part of it. So this is where you put your MFTP mails uh, details. So you put in your host, which is actually, actually your domain name. Your mail username, you create a mail, you go to your mail account in your cPanel. Create a web mail and put in the, put in the username here. Your password will be here. And this place again, you put in your username and then you save don't always don't forget to save then you go to your php admin and you import your database the import the sql file you can find the sql file inside this sql folder so you download then you go to php admin click on the particular database which you created you click on import you select the SQL file, you click go. By the time it's fully imported, it will be like this. Then you go to users. This is where you get the admin details. So, but you see, you can see the admin main right now. So, change this password. You click on edit. You go to the password boss. You type in the password which you want. So, right now, I'll put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 8. You see this left box here from the list search for encrypt so it's let encrypt you scroll down and click on go so your website should be up and running if you encounter any issues all you have to do is contact me through my details under this video description and if you need the scripts you can also contact me to get the script thank you very much for watching